So who is going to be the villain in Creature Commandos? James Gunn revealed the list of heroes a long time ago, but the story and the villain have been kept under wraps since the series announcement. But now we've got a new report that not only reveals who the villain's going to be, but what actress is going to take up the role and why that could be a pretty big deal. So let's dive in. Well, like we were saying, we've known for a long time who James Gunn's creature commandos are going to be. Frank Grillo, Alan Tudyk, Zoe Chow, David Harbour. He's got a list of big talent joining this cast, and it's something to be pretty excited about. Now, the characters themselves have been in the comics since the 1970s, but they really are a cult group of heroes, and a lot of fans really don't know where this series is heading. That's led to some questions about who the villain is going to be, and that has been a complete mystery, but now we got a new report via Heroic Hollywood, which seems to reveal not only who the villain is, but what actress will pick up the role. Now, this isn't from James Gunn or DC Studios, so we're going to give this the traditional grain of salt, but I love this pick, and I hope so much it's going to be true, we're going to go ahead and report on it. Now, what they are saying, Anya Shalatra, who's probably best known for her role as Yennefer in Netflix The Witcher, will take up the villainous role in the upcoming series. Now, who will she be playing? Well, that's where it gets interesting, because according to these reports, she will be playing the Wonder Woman villain, Cersei. Now, Cersei is a pretty classic Wonder Woman villain, making her first appearance back in 1949 in Wonder Woman number 37. And the fact that chapter 1 is called Gods and Monsters and Cersei is the first villain, well, that shouldn't be going over anybody's head. Now, the Cersei in DC Comics is totally based on the Greek mythological figure who imprisoned Odysseus in Homer's Odyssey. She is an amazingly evil sorceress and has been an adversary of Wonder Woman on multiple occasions. Now, we said this before, and it's pretty interesting. Gunn has made it pretty clear. Whoever is cast for their animated features, those are the people he wants to play the live-action versions, so there's a little more synergy between the projects. And that means this classic Wonder Woman villain could be playing a bigger role in the greater DCU. Honestly, she was a fan pick for the next Wonder Woman movie, and absolutely a character who is long overdue. Now, could she appear as the villain in the next Wonder Woman project? Well, that's kind of up in the air. We know we're supposed to get Paradise Lost, and Paradise Lost will see the birth of Themyscira in a very Game of Thrones type format. And quite honestly, Cersei would fit perfectly into that story, and it's really hard for me to believe that these two things are not connected. Additionally, given her connection to the Greek gods and the greater DC universe, and Chapter 1 being called Gods and Monsters, well, honestly, I think she's the first piece of connective tissue in this larger story, and exactly what Creature Commandos needs to do coming out of the gate. Obviously, establishing these characters is super important, but getting a storyline that has people excited and they can see threads of the story hanging in the air, that's exactly what needs to happen. And if Cersei is the main villain of Creature Commandos, it will be a great way to kick off this new universe. Now, Gunn debunked rumors the other day about when it was going to be released and it's still headed our way in 2024. We did a video on that the other day. should be popping up right now for you to check out. Gunn hasn't debunked this one as of yet, but if that pops up, we'll give you an update. He claims all the actor's lines were recorded for animation to move forward, so that means if this casting is true, it happened several months ago, and they managed to keep it under wraps all the way till now. We're going to follow the Commandos pretty closely because we're a big fan of animation on this channel. And I think this show is potentially as or more important than Superman Legacy to get the new DC Universe out of the gate and establish the quality bar for the content that fans are really hoping for out of this new world. Until we get more, we're going to have to wait and see.